Okay, so uh, let's attempt to do this last portion of the problem. So uh, again, we're finding the pH during a weak acid strong base titration, but this is after the equivalence point. So we have more base than acid, like more moles of base than moles of acid at this point in time. So we'll just reread. It says calculate the pH during the titration of 40 mils of 0 0.0 uh, sorry, 0 0.1000 molar propanoic acid, um, Ka 1.3 times 10 to the negative 5 after each, or after the uh, following volume, 50 mils of 0 0.1000 molar NaOH has been added, okay? So, uh, from these uh, volumes and concentrations, we should be able to get the number of moles. So if you remember from our last few calculations, the number of moles of the propanoic acid here is going to equal 0 0.0040 moles. And then this one of NaOH, 0. 0, 0, 5, 0, 0, 0, um, moles. Okay, so remember what I was saying, you want to compare moles to moles on all of these things. Okay. So we'll do a quick ice table. Okay, even though I know you guys can see that all of the moles of acid are used up, we'll just show it explicitly. Okay? So Concentration of OH minus. 
Do we have both of those things? Yes, right? So that equals 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14 divided by 0 0.01111. Nine point zero times ten to the negative thirteenth molar. Okay. So how do I get the pH from that? pH is going to be the negative log of the H3O plus concentration. So negative log twelve point zero. Okay, easy enough, right? That one, hopefully you think, was easier than the other ones. Okay. Are there any questions on this one before I let you guys go? Yep. Okay, wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, have a, have a good one, guys. Have a good weekend. I'll see you next time.